everyone and welcome back to another video of Gaming with Daka. Today we are going to be talking about Shenhei skills, which is incredible because they have been released on Honey Impact. So let's take a look at the Shenhei skill leaks. Um, and as always, thanks to Honey Impact for the info. So normal attack, Dawn Star Shooter. So she's going to perform uh, up to five consecutive spear strikes. That's just a normal attack. Uh, and then charge attack, we're going to lunge forward dealing damage. Pretty standard for polar users. Plunging attack, plunges, strike the ground below, damaging opponents, AoE damage. Okay, and then she's got very actually pretty nice multipliers, um, closer to around uh, actually 95%, whereas most characters would be around 85, 90, which is very nice. Um, let's take a look at her elemental skills. So we have Spring Spirit Summoning. So uh, she's going to... Uh, grant all nearby party members the Icy Quill effect and deal cryo damage in different ways based if it's press or hold. So if we're doing the press, it's going to rush forward together with the Talisman Spirit dealing cryo damage and obviously granting Icy Quill effect. And if you hold, it'll command the Talisman Spirit to deal AoE cryo damage. So I'm assuming she is not going to move just the Spirit and give the Icy Quill. So Icy Quill is going to, when normal charge and plunging attacks, elemental skills, and elemental burst deal crowd damage to opponents, the damage dealt is increased based on Shen He's current attack. So it's going to be cleared once its duration ends or after a certain number of stacks are consumed. Uh, holding rather than pressing grants a longer duration and more stacks generated. So when one cryo damage instance strikes multiple opponents, stacks will be consumed based on the number of opponents. Ice equal effects and stacks on every party member will be counted independently. So this is how it's going to work. It's going to do some damage. So at level 10, the press is going to do 243%. Hold is going to do 339%. It's also going to grant Ice Equal Effect. And Ice Equal Effect is going to basically boost um, characters in your party their cryo damage. So if they deal cryo damage, it's going to be the damage will be increased by 76% at level 10. And this duration, okay, so it'll it'll go bye bye once its duration ends. So it it can either last for ten or fifteen seconds, and it g either gives you five or seven stacks. So if you hit one enemy using icy quill effect, then that'll consume one stack. And the press cooldown is ten seconds, while the hold is fifteen. So this is a very interesting skill because we're dealing damage, but we're also boosting cryo damage specifically. Let's take a look at our burst. So this is Divine Maiden's Deliverance. So this is going to unleash the Talisman Spirit. Um, it's basically going to create a cryo field that deals AoE damage, sort of like Ganyu's burst. And um, it's going to create a field that decreases cryo resistance and physical resistance of opponents inside it. And it'll also deal cryo damage. So the skill damage is going to do 181%, the resistance decreases 15% at level 10, the uh, damage over time is going to be 59.62%, duration 12, cooldown 20 seconds, and an 80 energy cost like uh, most of the birds we've been seeing lately. So it's going to do damage, it's going to decrease resistances, and it's going to deal cryo damage. So again, um, an enabler for cryo damage. And then passive talents. So first of all, precise comings and goings. 25% uh, more rewards when dispatched on a leeway expedition. Uh, Deific Embrace, an active character within the field created by her burst is going to give 10% cryo damage bonus. And then Spirit Communion Seal. Um, after she uses her skill, she's going to grant the uh, following effects. If you press, it'll increase the elemental skill and burst damage by 15%. And if you hold, it'll increase normal charge and plunging attack damage by 15% for 15 seconds. Um, and if it's active and you use the skill again, it'll refresh the duration of the skill. So what we're seeing here is she's going to be able to do damage, but she's also a very good support for a cryo character. So I hope you enjoyed learning about Chen Hei skills. But for now, thank you for watching. Have a nice day and gaming with Daka out.